Now we come to an extremely important property, namely viscosity of fluids, whether they are liquids or gases. And viscosity plays an extremely important role in movement in the fluid flow and its behavior. And every now and then, this is the most important thing that we will be discussing throughout this course that and it, it's this property will be taken care of it will be recognized whenever it exists and taken into account in all our equations of motion their solutions and so on and all the real problems that we see all real fluids have viscosity when two solid bodies in contact move relative to each other a friction force develops at the contact surface in the direction of opposite motion. So even in the uh, solid, if we move a stable, or 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 if we move a stable, then you will see that you have to apply sufficient force to move it. Why? Because the surface of the surface and the contact point of the table in dono mein resistance hai agar hum force ek taraf lagate hain to dusri taraf se ek naturally force develop hoti hai ab ye to solid bodies mein hai lekin this thing happens in the liquid also to move a table on the floor for example we have to apply a force to the table in horizontal direction large enough to overcome the frictional force so us resistance ko humne sufficient force apply karni hai taake wo move kar sake and if somebody is unable to do that table is not going to move the magnitude of the force needed to move the table depends on the friction coefficient between the table and the floor the situation is similar when a fluid moves relative to solid or when two fluids are also moving relative to each other so we move with relative ease in air, but not so in water. So if we see that we are in air, then we don't know that something is opposing us or there is a force against us. But if we start in liquid, in water, in a swimming pool, in a swimming pool, then we will know that a certain level of resistance, we feel it. It is लेकिन अगर और इसी तरह से भी रियलाइज कि अगर हम एक कार में जा रहे हैं एक व्हीकल में जा रहे हैं और एक सर्टेन स्पीड पर हैं तो और और अगर हम शीशे गाड़ी के खुले रखें तो वी विल नो दैट देयर इज अपोजिंग फोर्स हवा जो है उसको पीछे की तरफ धकेलती है और कार के इंजन को काफी जोर लगाना होता है टू बी एबल टू मूव फॉरवर्ड तो ये चीज हमारी रियल लाइफ में चारों तरफ एग्जिस्ट करती और वो जो रेजिस्टेंस फोर्स है that has to be recognized and taken care of when all the uh, fluid motion is, uh, is being considered or discussed. Uh, similarly, moving in oil would be even more difficult as can be observed by the slower downward motion of a glass ball drop in a tube filled with oil. So, if a glass mein oil is filled with oil and I will put anything that has some weight तो हम देखेंगे कि वो निस्बतन slowly fall करेगा अगर हम उसी चीज को water में डालें तो it appears that there is a property that represents the internal resistance of a fluid to motion or the fluidity and that property is called viscosity so resistance the property that is creating resistance to the fluid flow motion is called viscosity. The force a flowing fluid exerts, uh, ex exerts on a body in the flow direction is called the drag force and the magnitude of this force depends in part on viscosity. To obtain a relation for viscosity, consider a fluid layer between two very large parallel plates 
or equivalently two parallel plates immersed in a large body of a fluid separated by a certain distance to aap dekhenge picture mein do solid plates hain the bottom plate jo gray color mein dikh rahi aapko wo fixed hai aur jo upper plate hai aur unke darmiyan fluid hai wo ya wo isi solid body se contact mein hai to uske upar hum force apply karte hain in the rightward direction तो राइट right डायरेक्शन में अगर हम फोर्स अप्लाई करें एज इज इंडिकेटेड बाय द फोर्स एफ उसके साथ एरो लगा हुआ है वो शो कर रहा है जो डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन है फॉर कोऑर्डिनेट्स वी हैव चोजन टू बी एक्स एंड वाई एक्स इज दॉरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन वाई इज दर्टिकल डायरेक्शन तो इसको हम थोड़ा सा डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे